Good morning Vlogmas, it's day nine. And I'm doing a full day of eating today. I figured it's a Sunday. I don't really have anything going on, so I'm not really gonna be like getting food from elsewhere. This is gonna be a very typical day of eating for me. So, let's do it. It is about nine o'clock on Sunday morning and I'm cooking some breakfast pre-gym, mostly just because I'm ravenously hungry. So, I've got some toast, which is gonna burn. I eat Killer Dave's bread, it's delicious. And I have some Beyond Meat chicken sizzling in a pan. I'm also gonna make a protein shake. I'm just gonna eat light because I gotta go work out after this. So yeah, that's breakfast. Um, I'm gonna put the macros on screen right here. I'm not currently tracking macros, however, thought I'd share with you guys. Also, it's good to like check myself sometimes what I'm eating in a day. Um, so yeah, I am going to show you the macros. I also decided to put a little bit of butter on the bread because it tastes like crap by itself. I use Earth Balance Original. It's vegan, honestly. Can you tell the difference in my vegan butter? No. Well, well can't tell the difference in vegan butter, so it's really good. If you're looking for a way to cut animal products out of your life, this is a good way to do it. Um, you're probably wondering what's in it. So am I. It's oil mostly. Yeah, it's basically oil. So, it tastes like butter though. So I'm eating the chicken now. I don't eat this stuff very often, but I crave it sometimes. Also, protein shake. I don't know if I've told you guys before, but I use Vega. Let me show you. Vega protein and greens. I usually just have like one scoop a day. I just really enjoy it. Plus there's two servings of veggies in each scoop, so that's a big thing for me as well. And it tastes pretty good. Sometimes I'll hop. Today I'll probably have two scoops because I'm having one for breakfast. I like to have one post-workout. So yeah, that's what's going on. I don't have much going on today. I just have like Vlogmas stuff to do. I've got a clean laundry gym. So I'm gonna finish this up and then go to the gym. I have back and cardio today. Should be a good day. My ring light's in the way. I know you guys didn't come here to see my outfit, but I want to show you my outfit. This is all Gymshark. The seamless. And then the shirt's from the Nikki Blackader collection. It's so dang cute. Let's see if I can show you that. I love that. I love it. All right, I'm gonna go work out now. What's up, guys? I have my head in the fridge. I am gonna have my, I just got home from the gym. So I'm having another protein shake, like I said before. I really just like to get something in my system quickly right after the gym, most days. Sometimes I'm kind of bad about it. Um, but it's a good opportunity to just like immediately refuel, plus the protein never hurts. I've been trying to eat more intuitively. Like I said, I'm not tracking macros, but this vlogmas thing, guys, it's a lot of work. It's a little stressful, I'm not gonna lie. But I wanna do it. I said I was gonna do it, so I'm gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna prepare that stuff. 16 year old. Bitch! I talked about my favorite way to season potatoes in a video. I'm out of onion powder, so I'm using this stuff instead. I got hoes calling a young nigga fall. Where's Ollie with the motherfucking dog? Bitch, I be ballin' like a motherfucking pro. cooking your potatoes at 450. I don't have a good reasoning, that's just what I do, <laughs> and it works. All right, so about halfway through, I flipped these guys over, half by halfway. Honestly, I don't really know, timing-wise. Ooh, that one's done. I'm oh, really hot. <laughs> um, The bottoms get crispy, or brown, or golden, whatever. Anyway, yeah, I flip these through, and then when I put them back in, It'll probably be another 10 minutes or so. 
That sounds about right. I weighed these because I'm tracking the macros for you guys. 337 grams of potatoes. If you're gonna weigh your food, I think it's a really good thing to... Uh, God, the potatoes are better looking than me, but that's always the case. Um, if you're gonna weigh your food, I think that it's actually a really good like thing to do for a while. So like weigh out food and learn serving sizes because I think it's a really valuable skill. It, like you don't have to do it forever, but you learn a lot about food. Um, doing it all the time and like taking your scale with you whenever you go places is like pretty excessive and not necessary at all. Unless of course you're like doing a show. But um, this is 337 grams of potatoes. Macros, right here. Um, sometimes my potatoes taste better than other times and these are bomb today. I forgot to say, salt them afterwards. Because if you salt them before you put them in the oven, the salt, like, flavor doesn't stay. So always just salt them after. That's a trick I learned over the years. It's really good. I don't look like a, I need to take a shower. I'll be back later with the rest of my food today. I love potatoes. All right, I'm having a snack. I'm not done yet, but I'm making an acai bowl. It's like, this is really random. It's like 4.40. We don't want to have dinner yet, but I'm starving, so I'll show you when I'm done. Okay. This is my acai bowl. It's a green base because I put spinach in it, but I have granola, strawberries, and almond butter on top. In the mix is water, spinach, acai packet, which I'll show you in a second, frozen pineapple, and frozen peaches. These are the acai packets that I use. They're unsweetened, so they're not like the best tasting thing in the world by themselves so you gotta add sweetener but yeah if you want to feel like you're making an authentic acai bowl is how you do it currently eating my favorite thing in the whole world hummus with pretzels if you live in texas you need to get you some roasted red pepper hummus from heb best hummus out there. There's not a better hummus in the world than this hummus right here. <laughs> All right, about to eat my last meal. I have fallen into a deep dark hole of watching Mystery Box from the Dark Web YouTube videos right now. I'm like balls deep right now. I'm having a great time. Um, but <laughs> okay, so I didn't feel like cooking veggies. I don't even really feel like eating veggies, but I feel like I need to have veggies. So. I just like literally warmed up, here's the video I'm watching, uh, warmed up frozen broccoli for just to get some vegetables in and then I have a block of tofu in the oven and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna toss it with buffalo sauce and then I'm gonna have some buffalo tofu. And then I made, actually I might have some blueberries, but I also made these chocolate chip cookies so I'm definitely gonna have one of those. I definitely didn't already have one of those. I'm lying. Thank you so much for watching my full day of eating. Here's Wilbur. What's up, guys? What you cooking? Chicken fajita, kind of, sort of. It's delicious. Looks it's gross. disgusting. It's dead bird. Okay, well, thanks for watching. See you guys. Uh, well, it's Vlogmas. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm actually excited. Way more excited than I sound. <laughs>